Hi, I'm Peter Harrop, I'm chairman of ID TechX and I'm interviewing here uh, the folk at Alta Devices. Alta Devices is in this leading edge world uh, where we have um, solar panels and uh, they are often flexible and they're often much more efficient. You get much more electricity and I want to learn more about this because uh, it interests me from the point of view of electric vehicles that can be energy independent uh, as long as the sun's out or even when it's not out using a battery. And uh, they're being applied here apparently to wearable technology. So Rich, uh, Rich Kapitza, uh, Kapitza is going to uh, answer my questions. Can you can you tell us a bit? Yes. So, as you mentioned, we are a solar cell technology company. We manufacture everything here in the U.S. Actually, a couple miles down the street in Sunnyvale, and we make solar cells out of gallium arsenide. That's right. what makes ours right. different from the yep. rest of the industry. And the goal of the company was just to make it as cheap as possible, because gallium arsenide is a pretty expensive material to work with, uh, but it has tremendous performance attributes. So we hold a world record for efficiency at almost 29%. Uh, we work great in low light. Uh, we have a very flat temperature coefficient. So there's just a whole, whole slew of properties that are really nice with gallium arsenide. And in the end, what we ended up making are these really thin, flexible solar cells, which can go into vehicles of all types, either airplanes or cars or whatnot, um, as well as you mentioned, indoor applications such as IoT sensors uh, for energy harvesting use and wearables. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of other things that we're looking at as well. So anywhere there's a battery, we make that battery either go away or last longer. That's really exciting because I remember we had Boeing Spectralab talking 10 years ago and they were saying that to be honest, gallium arsenide, like gallium arsenide germanium in layers, was uh, something that was so expensive it was really only on satellites. That's and right. it didn't, he, they said, we think we can bring it to Earth. Well, you have done it. That's you right. Have done fact, it. When, so, we, uh, when we started off, they thought what we were trying to do was impossible. Um, and we've proven that that's not the case. Um, and we, we literally grow these tiny films, these really thin films, onto a substrate. Oh, you actually manufacture yourself? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, right, right here in Sunnyvale. Right, right. Yeah. And so, what do you think is the biggest opportunity for you? Is it the small wearable technology or large area on, say, a vehicle? It's both. In, in fact, it's ah. IoT devices, it's ah. wearables, and it's vehicles. Those right. are the three big right. categories. And does it have a decent life? They do. In fact, because yeah. it's a monocrystalline gallium yeah. arsenide, yeah. there's hardly any degradation. So it's um, a single junction. Single, single junction, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. right. So it's right. very stable material. Yeah. When it when they get hot, they reduce efficiency yeah. a bit. by a bit, but it's much better than other solar yeah. technologies. So high, so good that you remain good. But even as Relative. a percentage, the yeah. the percent reduction oh, is right. quite small. And you can form as part of a structure. I mean, we think that structural electronics is a really big thing now. Instead of components in a box or That's right. glass panels put on your house as an yeah, afterthought, exactly. and they look what? hideous, exactly. this can actually part be an integral part of a wristwatch, an aircraft wing, That's whatever. Right. In fact, we've had customers that have put this into a carbon fiber mold upside down and built up the actual solar oh, cells directly into so like, the, the surface oh, of the structure. Yeah. Oh, right. So you can imagine right. this on a wearable or a consumer and do, device. Do you need or controlled disposal or not? No. They're, no. Uh, they pass all the recyclability no, because, requirements. Uh, the um, ca cadmium telluride ones are not really allowed, That's are right. they? That's uh, right. You can put them on a building, but it has to be a controlled removal because of the cadmium That's after right. 20 years, That's and right. they're not going to appear on anything a child can bite or anything like that. Right. So you've got a safe product that is available as a um, widely dispersed, you know, volume product. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How exciting. That's wonderful. Now, are you, you're, you say you're a relatively small company? We are. We're about 130 people. Yeah. Tell, tell us about the twinkle in your eye. Are you going global? Are you global already? Or what are you doing? We were acquired a little over a year ago by a big Chinese energy company. Oh, really? And so that's really what's funding oh, our, our yes, build-out. Yes, energy. Indeed. So they will do what? They are essentially funding our scale-out. So we're yeah. going to build a larger factory here in our facility in Sunnyvale. And then we're going to then take it overseas and build a much larger factory in overseas China. in China. Yeah. Oh, so that's their benefit. But you can then market strongly in China and globally. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, you're not yourself then setting up foreign offices. We haven't set up any foreign yeah. offices yet, but we will. Yeah. We'll have to see how we 
how we go forward. Any ambitions for Europe, where I come from? We actually have customers in Europe already. You do? Yes. All right. Yep. What, where do they put these things? I uh, can't say. Yeah, oh, it's a secret. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, secret <laughs> stuff. But you can be any shape, any format, whatever. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Marvelous. Yeah, this great. is actually, interestingly enough, this is a, a, an analog devices development board that you